72% of you guys watching my videos right now are actually not even subscribed. So why not subscribe? It's free and it helps the channel out. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. It's the same day as yesterday's video. That's why I still look like a state and I'm wearing the same clothes. So don't worry about that. In today's video, we're back again playing Warzone. I've been grinding Warzone recently. I'm trying to get a lot better than I am at it. And in today's video, it's pretty decent. It's a very decent gameplay. I hope you guys do enjoy it. Pretty much me and a couple of other teams, well, a couple of other players, because I'm playing solo, are literally pretty much fighting for this one house. It gets pretty insane, obviously. I don't even know. You guys have just got to watch this video. Make sure you watch all the way through. If you guys are new around here, make sure you're smashing a like on this video. But anyway, guys, if you guys are new around here, make sure you guys are smashing that subscribe button. And if you do like the video, be sure to smash a like. It does mean a lot to me. And follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Links are both in the description below. But anyway, guys, let's hop straight into the gameplay. Okay, guys, here we are. We're going to be dropping a hospital today. I'm going to get a little bit more, you know, in the action. But there's a lot more people try and get a lot more kills so here we go come on get me to hospital see what's going off the thing is as well like i said i've not played that much warzone in the last video my area my like, knowing where to go around these specific areas is very very you know i don't really know where to go well it's going to be a little bit of a uh, funny one and we're hitting kids in the sky i've never managed to do that yet actually kill somebody in the sky that would be pretty cool if i managed to do that there's a guy dropping on me as well I'm, oh my god, I'm missing. He's running away. And there's a guy behind me. On oh my days, goodbye. Yeah, it's pretty insane at hospital for sure. I think it might make it a little bit more enjoyable for to play and to watch. I'm going to pick up this old and try and find that kid that did drop down. And there's a guy there, see if I can hit him. Oh my god, he's flying super fast. No, I'm going to miss him. Take this. I'm going to take this grenade. I might as well take the throwing knife as well. Why not? You never know, I might be able to get a cheeky throw knife kill. I'm going to take the AK over the Odin as well. Another armor plate that's always nice to see since we lost all our armor straight off the bat. Never great, you don't like to see it. But this uh, new solo mode the valid is pretty interesting. Oh my god, there's a kid here. He's got no armor and he's dead. Thank you. Oh no, I didn't mean to jump off there. Oh, for God's sake. We are in a sticky situation now. I really wanted to be up on the roof still, but looks like that's not going to be an option. I'm going to run inside though, see what's going off. This is where it's going to get a little bit tricky for me because I don't really know where I'm going or where there could be. So we'll see anyway. I'm going to head up. I think that's probably the best thing to do in this scenario. Literally, anyone could be anywhere right now for me because I just don't have a clue. I'm going to take this M4A1 though over the M91. I saw it for the AK actually because the M91 can be pretty decent at range so I'm going to take this other variant of the M91. What I found anyway, I seem to really like as well the thermal, there's a thermal LMG, I don't know what LMG it is, but it seems, oh my days, oh my god, Jesus, I think that kid saved my life, the other guy saved my life there 100%. Let me get an armor plate on, and this kid's going to push me now, he knows I'm here. This could be interesting. I want to try and make a decent play with a decoy grenade. He's definitely here. I've never used a decoy grenade, but I've seen Scum make a decent play. So we're dropping the decoy grenade. See if we can draw him in. He's C4 in. Goodbye. Let's go. Decoy grenade didn't really do anything in that scenario. But now I'm worried because it's still going off. It could attract, <laughs> attract more people whilst I'm pretty vulnerable. And we're being tracked, which is not great. Three kills already though, I'm liking it. Wish it could be more, but there's always room for improvement. That's all the focus I'm doing right now is improving. Looks like this kid had a pretty decent loot. He had an armor satchel as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that in a second. I just wanna armor up real quick. Just to make sure if we get taken off guard, we are ready. Because not having armor is literally, you're pretty much asking to die. Let's be real. Right, what's this kid got then? So, he had a, he had a custom class already. What? How the hell did he get that so quickly? He must have literally dropped in, looted, and just called that in straight away. I'm going to take the RPG as well. You never know. I want the armor satchel as well. See what's going off. Is there anything else? I don't think there's anything else I really need. I'll take the grass gas grenade. Might as well fill that slot. There's a kid running across here. I don't want to shoot him. I want to try and... That was probably stupid to try and throw and knife him. I don't know why I even bothered shooting right at the last minute there giving my position away. Is he going to push back out? I don't know. I really don't think this kid's interested right now. Doesn't seem to be pushing out of that room. Oh wait, there he is. He's trying to stun me so he knows I'm here. That was an awful stun grenade though, but I don't even know what's in there. I don't know if that's a room or what. 
That's what I'm so scared of because I just don't really know the area of the map. And like I said in the last video, I'm going to try and play a bit of plunder, but I don't want to pay to play too much. So, um, you know, I feel like it could hinder my progress in the actual Warzone mode. But I feel like it would help in getting um, familiar with the different areas on the map for sure. I want this kid to push out, but he doesn't seem to be. I don't know what he's doing. He could have possibly run away. I have no idea. 100% I think this kid's definitely, uh, he must have gone. I've hung around for him a while, but I think it's definitely time to move out. I've got enemy soldier incoming as well, so someone could be coming around here in a second. Someone's definitely, well at least someone's, we know someone's dropping in, but I'm not liking the position I'm in right now as I come from two ways. There was a, I've just destroyed a bouncing betty in this room, so, or a uh, trip mine, whatever it's called in this game so there could be someone knocking about they could be hiding in one of these office things that's what i hate about warzone there's so many little places they could possibly hide i'm in my way downstairs just trying to have a little bit more exploration in this uh, area of the map but i'm taking it super slow as i just don't know where people could be hiding like in corners or anything i don't want them to hear me and sneak up on me i'm going to take the stun grenade because you never know let's roll like someone could be hiding behind this desk there's not thankfully i might even take the deployable cover but just because you know we might as well have that slot filled rather than it be empty because you just never know there's so many rooms and everything in this building it's pretty crazy i'm gonna hop in the jeep though i'm gonna hop in the jeep and get to the circle well, i don't know whether to go for the loadout drop or not let's go for the loadout drop hopefully it's not a stupid idea because i, I think this is downtown i hate being in downtown because there's so many people lurking around and plus i'm not liking this as well because i've pulled up in the jeep gives away my position more or less instantly because people can see that on the map so let's just uh, go for this loadout drop real quick Oh my god, I'm getting no oh my days! <laughs> Look at this guy, man, with a heartbeat sensor just camping the loadout drop virtually. Thank god the respawn mode's on, I mean, we can just hop straight back into the game. Now, landing on that loadout drop is probably something I don't want to be doing right now. So, I mean, we can try, I guess. Just to see what's going off. I mean, we have 7,200, so we can pretty much spawn back in straight away. I guess that's a good thing about this game mode, but then again, it isn't great because it like, means so many people are alive towards the end of the game as well. It can make it a lot harder to actually win. But it is what it is. I think I'm going to drop over at this like airfield type place. I don't even know the name. Probably sounds super new, but I'm going to land here on top of these. Um, I forget what they're called. What are they called? Hangar? I think it's a hangar. So, see what's going off right here. I need to get some loot real quick as well. Somebody in a jeep right near me. Hopefully they don't head over this way because I am screwed because I don't have a weapon. Everything is looted. That's the only problem, dropping back in. There's literally no weapons anywhere. Hopefully there's something in one of these rooms. Okay, looks like somebody died here. Decent amount of loot as well. They have the uh, LMG I was talking about with the thermal sight on and the RPK. We'll take it and an armor satchel. We'll take that as well. Might as well take that as well. And yeah, this is actually pretty decent weapon i'll be honest i really like uh, the thermal scope lmg all right someone come in there is somebody coming come on i'm gonna I, i'm gonna i don't know if i'm gonna die here i'll get so worried come on my friend yeah he can't kill me oh he's here there we go good night my friend goodbye he's annoyed hope he didn't think i was camping in here hope he didn't think i was camping in there because it wasn't the case i was uh, pretty much just looting because i have no weapons but i find myself literally pretty much crouched constantly when i don't have a heartbeat sensor just because i literally have no idea where anyone can be i think heartbeat sensor is so important in this game mode and i'm sure everyone will agree to be honest there's not really anybody knocking around so there's a guy over here actually i didn't make that jump that is unfortunate and there's some loot here where somebody died nobody in here see what this kid has okay so this kid had a heartbeat sensor thankfully and i had a shield turret kill streak i'm not sure how that's gonna go i'm gonna take the mp7 100 percent i think we're rocking a pretty decent loadout right now i'd rather have my own loadout but you know it is what it is i'm feeling a little bit more comfortable now we have a heartbeat sensor i'm gonna hop in this truck though i think sort of drive out of here and try and get to the next circle and try and just get to a vantage point i think that's probably gonna be my strategy right now I mean, we've got four kills so far it's not bad especially to say we landed at one of the busier areas on the map and there's a guy just dropped in on the airfield if you can see him over there he might die he's getting shot at. if not we'll run him over no danger yeah he's been killed yeah there's a sniper in that building to my left there so we're just gonna leave him be no point risking it he could be a god we never know and we're just gonna roll out okay boys and girls probably just someone dropping in right here Oh my days, I'm missing loads of shots and I've been shot from the side. Look how weak I am, Jesus. How did I survive that? That is super close. Oh, there's one in here as well. Oh my days, you are a sneaky boy. You are sneaky, my friend. So, I don't really know where them other people are going to be. 
pretty much weaken that kid. I don't, I don't think I'm going to take the sniper, to be honest. Because I think, you know, ARs and whatever, are just as good at, long, at range, you know. I don't want to be sniping people, because as much as I do like sniping, it's not like someone dropping in, no, it's a storm. I do like sniping people, but with the uh, little flashlight on it, it's a dead position giveaway. I'm going to take the frag as well. There's a guy just across the way here. I don't know where he's gone. There's two of them, apparently. No one come behind. Pretty campy right now. I think this kid knows where I am. I think he's shooting at me. But I can't see him. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, let's see if I can just peek this real quick. Yeah, I saw him in the corner there. Right, yeah, there he is. I'm going to try and frag him. See what we can do. Launch that. No armor. And he's down. Thank you. Oh my god, there's no... Oh my days! How did he kill me so quickly? What on earth? He got the kilo for a start. Jeez, I'm going to drop straight in that building again and try and kill this kid and retake some loot as well to save me rummaging around. I'm not sure if there's some other people around here. There's somebody in the truck of mine driving it around. He's pulled up and he's got out of it. Hopefully we can just land on this real quick, get inside. Oh my days, I'm getting shot. No way. That was not great. And there's somebody up here I can hear him uh, armoring. Oh my days, you just got absolutely melted with a pistol. How did I kill him so quickly? But I'm so weak yet again. And I think I'm getting pushed. This is not great. We're literally fighting over this house. It's pretty insane. I've got no armor as well. I'm not liking this. Oh my days. Just keep spraying. Thank you. He didn't have any armor either. That was close. Eight kills right now. We'll take it. And there's somebody in a truck driving away, I think. There's somebody on the heartbeat sensor as well. This is super tense. We have enough points to respawn still, but it's only two minutes. I think definitely this is an OP way to win games, just because you can keep respawning. I'm going to take my MP7 back, and I want the actual that LMG. I'm scared to stand up right now. Oh my days, how what? How did you even know you could get in that way? I didn't even know you could jump in through that window. I'm dropping back in on the house. I'm hoping it's clear. It's still, I think it's just outside the circle, actually. Hopefully it's clear. Literally, we've been fighting over this house. Pretty strange. Look how much loot is in here. I'm going to take this guy's kilo. So that's the guy who killed me. All right, okay, I killed him. I must have killed him first, and he must have just came back for me. Kind of stupid on my part. I really should have got out of there. I'll take this sniper, I think. If I, no, I'll take the LMG, and I'm... Yeah, we'll roll out with the LMG and the kilo. Leave the MP7 for now. There's a guy over there as well. LMG time. If he wants to peek his head out again. We're going to have to move real quick. I'm not liking this position room. We've got no cover whatsoever. There's a guy in that room. Take him down. I think he went straight down, I'm not sure. We'll take that, nine kills. Build last, uh, beat last video's kill record. So we're dead, oh my days, I'm getting shot in the side. No way, no way, please don't kill me. I'm running into posts, and this building goes to nowhere, which is not great, we're gonna have to move back out. Where's this kid gone, I don't even know where he is. Oh my days, no way, oh my god, no. No, no, thank you. Oh my god, I'm so weak again. I'm just dodging and weaving. Oh my god, how are we still alive? I need to get inside the circle. We've got no armor plates, we're super vulnerable. 17, 16 people left, just changed. Don't see anyone around, but this is not great. I have nowhere to chill, I don't know where to go. And oh, there's gonna be someone in that building, isn't there? To my right, the big house. I have no idea where anybody is. I'm in the storm, oh no, oh my God, I'm dead. I knew I was dead. No way, that was super unfortunate. Literally had no cover, no on plates. Okay guys, I'm back in the lobby. That was a pretty intense, pretty insane game of Warzone. Even though we didn't win, I thought it was still pretty decent. We got a fair amount of kills. I thought it was super strange how we were all fighting over that one building. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. But I'm certainly going to be bringing more Warzone content to the channel. So make sure you guys look out for that. If you guys are new around here, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. And if you did enjoy this video, be sure to smash a like. It does mean a lot to me. But I'm going to have to end the video here. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Links are both them in the description. Like I said, remember to subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.